Aha! That's why we're going to be reacting to the Spider-Man trailer. I'm going to break it down a little bit. I was just going to record this. On my own time. But I became busy with the essay and whatnot. Um, so instead, I'm just going to live stream it. No one's watching anyway, so I don't have to like, worry about, like, I don't know, a bunch of people interrupting me. But, you know, if you do want to watch me live on Twitch, uh, watch me live stream, go to twitch.tv slash bot the boss. Uh, link to it will be in the description below of this video that you're watching. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that. Remember, do all that. Watch the entire video so, I, I, so that way, before the video ends, I can tell you to do all that again. Okay, let's jump right into this. Now, it's important to know that uh, I've seen this trailer. <laughs> a lot, and uh, so it's not really gonna be a react. So it's gonna be a reaction because I'm watching it. So that's what a reaction is. But this isn't a first time reaction, and I'm gonna be breaking down a couple scenes, not all of them, because I don't got fucking time for that. I want to jump into the next game. But let's just go ahead and jump right into this. I have seen a couple of theories on what this stuff is, or what some things could be, and I'll talk about it if I can remember it. But let's just jump right into Spider-Man: No Way Home. I'm literally legitimately hyped for this. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week. Oh wait, hold on, I should probably, uh, change something in my stream. I don't know how long we're gonna be on here, so I'm just gonna put it in the just chat real quick. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. Where my life is fun. Also, can I... I'm gonna go on a rant here for a couple seconds. This first four seconds of the trailer... Unneeded. Because it's literally just scenes later in the trailer. There's a trailer for the fucking trailer. I think I've seen other people talk about it, but it's stupid. And some I've only noticed happening in the first, like, in past, like, couple years. Past, like, a year or two. Especially with Marvel movies. Marvel movies seem to love doing this, and I don't understand why. Actually, I don't even know if Marvel movies even do this, but I don't like when people, when movies in general do this. It's just stupid. This, I want to watch a trailer. I don't want to watch a trailer for the trailer. That's what a teaser trailer is. I don't need a tree teaser. A second before the trailer begins. Okay, let's go. Also, uh, spoilers for uh, anyone who hasn't seen uh, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy or the Amazing Spider-Man uh, movies. And I guess also spoilers for past MCU movies. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week. Where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider Man. Okay. Let's see. I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Is it just me? I've seen uh, like other people react to this trailer because uh, I've watched a couple reaction channels. The main one being Blind Wave. Um, I think they said something about it too. When you botch that spell, we... Str Stephen, uh, Doctor Strange kind of sounds a little weird, but maybe that's just me. When you botch that spell, where you wanted every. And maybe it's just me. Okay, it's not important. Let's continue. We want to forget the Peter Parker Spider Man. <laughs> Started getting some visitors. Oh yeah, Willem Dafoe. God, it's back, baby. From every universe. Okay, let's see him talk from every universe. 
Okay, the Spider-Man suit. Obviously, he's fine Electro, so this is probably like some sort of electric Spider-Man suit. Um... My theory, okay, so a lot, of, so a couple of people have said that, like, it's actually, like, oh, look, this, first one, this is 100% Tom Holland. I have seen a couple comments on uh, a couple of vid uh, vi reaction videos to this, and saying that it's, like, it's actually, like, uh, uh, Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire in disguise, just hiding it, so that way they can put more Spider-Man scenes, and we'll, we'll talk about that later, but uh, I don't, I don't think that's the case. This is clearly just an electric Spider-Man suit. Maybe some from like the uh, Spider-Man PS4 game. I haven't played it, but I've seen like the game of it because I don't have a pl PlayStation. But uh, this is what it kind of gives me the vibe of that in the uh, final boss for that game, which spoiler, uh, Doc Ock. Um, he he wears a suit somewhat similar to this, although it's not the same exact design, but it kind of reminds me of that. Okay, let's continue. Hello, Peter. You're not Peter Parker. Sorry, I kind of paused. We were there. Let's go back. Also, real quick. Hello, Peter. Is that going to become the new hello there, I mean? Okay, so first, before jumping to the other, before what Doc Ock's about to say, uh... I'm a little confused here. Like, obviously, Doc Ock gets, like, nanotech, because his zanes are red here. Because whenever we first see them, as we see, uh... They ain't red. Hello, Peter. And then... He gets nanotech, and then, uh, as we see later on, he gets nanotech, which we can see here, so obviously he gets nanotech, which happens later, and then this happens, I think. But my question is, how does he get nanotech? I'm assuming it will be explained. I've seen some people say that he just absorbs it off of Spider-Man, which I don't know how, unless Doc Ock's arms can do that all of a sudden, which I don't think they can they might be able to i don't know i don't i don't know it, it'll be explained okay let's continue you're not peter parker okay big thing he says he's not peter parker obviously indicating that you know he's 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 for sure from the sam raimi universe pretty obvious i know right but I know there's a theory that whenever he said hello, Peter, he was talking to uh, Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, and not Tom Holland's. But uh, obviously you see now that uh, that's, that's he's actually not. Let's continue. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a Okay, I know I just said I wasn't going to pause, but I love that they gave the arms, looks like, some personality. I don't know if it will be as much as they gave him the Spider-Man 2, but I'm glad they did. I, I love that. No, seriously, what's your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby... Also... There are others out there. We need to send them back. What is this? Like, is this some sort of, like, device Strange gives them? I don't know. Obviously, it'll be explained in a movie, but if you guys have any theories on it, leave a comment. Electro, blue Electro, which he absorbs and becomes yellow Electro, which he should always be. So, Scooby-Doo this crap! You know, all this is kind of uh, your mess. I know a couple magic comedy words comedy myself, bit. starting with the word, please. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap. Sandman. You're flying Change out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. Okay, big thing I want to talk about. That line. Let's just go and replay it. To fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. I kind of have a problem with this line. Now I have a couple of theories. Well, I have a theory, but one, but uh, the thing is, he says that they all die fighting Spider-Man. And, uh, 
it's it's shown that well, technically true, all of them technically die fighting Spider-Man. Doc Ock, Goblin, Lizard, Electro. I don't remember how he dies. It's been forever since I've seen the Amazing Spider-Man movies. But there's one problem. Sandman. Sandman doesn't die. I don't know if that's just, uh, if that'll be brought up. It'll be cool if it was brought up. I don't think it will. It was probably just a, a mistake on Marvel's part. But I don't know. I just feel weird. Now, I have a theory on this that uh, it's that the Sandman is, well, it's most likely from Sam Raimi's universe. Let's, let's be honest here. Because he seems to be taking a villain from every movie. But if it's not, then I have a theory that it's actually the Sandman of this universe. Pretty stupid theory, I know. Uh, I have a theory later on that green, that green goblin we see. Wait, let's, wait, have we seen it already? I can't remember. Fuck. I'll, I'll, I'll watch the rest of it. If we don't see it, I'll bring it up. But yeah, I have a theory that maybe it's the Sandman from this universe. It's their fate. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Okay, another... This is more of a question. So obviously in the MCU, the this MCU, the time zone's gone because it's been destroyed. And they had to return the other time zone that they used for in-game back to the original universe. So... I guess, what is this? Like, I don't know a lot about Doctor Strange or the devices they use. So, I don't know if, like, someone who, like, knows more knows what this is as a guess. Or if this is something that has come up with for the movie. But, uh, obviously it's probably gonna be an important plot device. But, uh, if you just have any guesses at all, if you know what it is, please tell. Look, there has to be another way! There isn't! They're a danger to our universe. You're not gonna take this away from me. Also, Peter. Oh. You're not gonna take this away from me. Electro's blasting Doc Ock, which kind of confirms that Doc Ock, in my opinion, will switch sides probably in the beginning, or well, maybe not the beginning, like I thought, or halfway through the movie. Because he'll. Because. I don't know. Obviously, Doctor Strange says that they all die fighting Spider-Man, but when does this happen? Like, is it just before they die? Like, are they just instantly, like, dragged out of the universe to and then plopped into the other one? Into the MCU? Or is it just that, uh, I don't know. Like, they die, Spider-Man leaves. Like, uh, for instance, uh, spoiler for Spider-Man 2, when Doc Ock submerges the, uh, miniature sun thing, I don't remember what it's technically called, and the bomb, the river, and he's floating down to his death, like, he's plucked from there before he drowns or whatever, or what? I don't, I don't know. I'm sure it'll be explained, but, uh, let's, let's continue. But there's definitely conflict eventually with Doc Ock and Electro, at least, and I assume with what's supposed to be the Sinister Six. I'll talk about that later, too. Peter, you're struggling. Ooh, that was laggy. Everything you want while the world Okay, here we go, we can talk about it. Damn it. everything you want while the world Okay. Now I've seen a couple theories on this too, and I have my own. One, that this is just Green Goblin without without his mask, which it could be entirely possible and it's probably what it is. But two, is that this is actually Harry Osborn from Spider-Man 3. Well, not Spider- well, not Spider-Man 3, but, uh, Spider-Man- Amazing Spider-Man 2? I don't know, it's been forever. You gotta forgive me since I've seen the Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, series. I don't remember what he- what Green- Go what, he, what Green Goblin looked like in that movie. I have to go back and watch it, probably, although I probably won't. Which, uh, all of those are possibilities, but I have my own. It's basically the Sandman theory. This is basically this universe's Green Goblin, and he shows up too. Because, I mean, you can't have Spider-Man without Green Goblin. Let's be honest here. He 
He's like one of the most popular Spider-Man villains. Tries to make you choose. There's Lizard, Sandman, Electro. And now it's probably the thing everyone's talking about. The scene coming up. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. <laughs> Who's Lizard attacking? I would argue it could be made for Electro, Electro but it doesn't look like Electro is going for Peter too. Although it could, is more possible than fucking the Lizard, who's just jumping at no one. So, uh, obviously it raises the question. Is there actually Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire there? Or other Spider-Men? Spider-Mans? Spider-Spider-Men? And just cut them out. I'm going to be honest, I don't want to get my hopes up and say that there is, but there's a high chance. Now, obviously, it'd be amazing if they brought in Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Do I think it's likely? Yeah. Will they do it? Probably. But it could also be that they bring in Spider-Man from other universes. What Spider-Man? Maybe someone from Into the Spider-Verse? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I doubt they'll do that, but you never know. It seems to be very clearly from the movies, so it probably will be Toby and Andrew. And even though I know it's probably going to happen, and even, I'm going to be so excited. Even if it doesn't happen, I'm still glad they're getting all these villains together. Let's continue. <laughs> Clearly a direct parallel to Gwen Stacy's, uh, spoiler, death in Amazing Spider-Man 2. I think it's almost exact for that, pretty much the exact same thing with, like, uh... With, like, this, this and everything, like, almost shot exactly the same way. Except it's MJ instead of Gwen Stacy. Now, I have seen a theory that it's actually Andrew Garfield who saves MJ instead of Tom Holland to sort of make up for the fact he couldn't save Gwen Stacy, which I think would be pretty cool, but let's continue. What's happening? They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. December 17th, exclusively in movie theaters. Tick that scene right there, I, I've seen a couple other theories, two of them. One of them, I don't, I mean, it's possible with the way everything's looking. But the first one, I, whenever he says they're coming through, I think he means other Spider-Men. I feel like that's the most logical thing. It could not be that. It could be something completely different, but whatever. But my, the second theory is that it's... <laughs> This is just a theory. I don't know if it's true, so I don't go saying it is. But a second theory is that it's the X-Men coming through. Because Statue of Liberty, you know, it, it's, it's just crazy. I don't know. F finally, we're going to, first off, love the trailer. I think it's amazing. I'm looking forward to the movie. It's probably the most hyped I've been for a Marvel movie since Endgame. I'm ready for it. Let's just say that. Anyway, we're going to talk about one final thing before I move on and this video ends. Before she moves on, the video ends. The Sinister Six. So a lot of people have talked about how there's not six villains. Because even if Doc Ock changes, changes sides, he's probably going to work with the other villains for at least a little bit before he changes sides. I think. I don't know. Maybe at the end he switched sides, and then Electro betrays him, he switched back. I, I don't know. But either way, there's, there's only five villains. There's Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Sandman, Electro, and Wizard. And obviously, assuming that Doc, that Green Goblin isn't two, which it probably is just a one, then there's only six. Now, there are two theories behind this. Well, I have two, two idea theories behind this. One... 
uh, it's not going to be the Sinus of Six. It's just going to be five. And yeah, uh, I think it'd be cool if they did the Sinus of Six. Uh, they may not. They know in Marvel, they they probably would try to do it, but I don't know. They sometimes like to skimp out and stuff. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the, the second theory is that I don't know if it's been talked about much, but it's kind of my theory is that it's going to be Venom. Spoilers for uh, Let There Be Carnage, the recent Venom movie. At the end, the post credit scene for that, it's shown that Venom is transported, I assume by Doctor Strange's uh, spell fail, his name. That the same thing that brought all the villains there brought Venom there, and it seems Venom has an interest in Peter. My theory is that Venom may be a sixth member, or he shows up, like, last second. If they don't kill him off, but he kind of shows up, maybe, like, halfway through the movie. On the final, like, act. I wouldn't be surprised. I uh, would be surprised, and I'd be welcome to it. But that that's my theory. And then they don't kill him off, and they have him do his own thing, because it's pretty clear that Venom's also going to have his own movies in the Sony universe. So it wouldn't make sense to kill him off in the MCU, because uh, it's canon to the Sony, and uh, I don't know, but I'm playing hearts. That's my theory. Anyway, fi final theory for the Sinister Six scene. There's a villain we haven't seen yet. It could be Scorpion. That's a pretty interesting thing, but I don't think it will be Scorpion. Because it hasn't built up Scorpion in any way. Because villains we have so far for Spider-Man was Vulture, Shocker, which technically isn't a big Spider-Man movie. He's more of a side villain. But Vulture and Mysterio. Mysterio, the last movies, uh, uh, and Vulture and Shocker from Far From Home. I mean, Homecoming. I'm getting my titles mixed up. The old home in it. I'm sorry. Obviously, Vulture, spoiler, Vulture's in prison, and he meets the guy who I think is supposed to be Scorpion in prison. I think, I don't, I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I think that's who it's supposed to be in the prison sequence, which I think is a post credit scene. So, obviously, Scorpion's going to be tied into this. I feel like they have to. They kind of somewhat built him up. Will they do anything with him? Probably not. It's probably not even going to be a Sinister Six. But you never know. Anyway. That's, ow. I set my elbow. This is the worst fucking reaction video that's going to be on YouTube and no one's going to watch it. But if you do watch it, and if you do somehow enjoy what you heard here, and you want to hear my dumb theories, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell. And uh, leave a comment giving your opinions on the trailer to what you think. And if you, if you know the answer to any of my questions I've asked or have your own theories about what's going to happen, don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, if you're watching the video of this, which you most likely are if you are seeing this, uh, you want to check out my Twitch stream, stream, which I'm technically recording this on. Uh, check it out in the description below, twitch.tv slash boss, And don't forget to check out my Twitter, uh, botthebots one well, uh, you can find just my tweets about stupidness, um, and, uh, also a notification for when I go live, because I don't have access to the community tab yet, because I don't have a thousand subs, and I would never get there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know what my next video will be, but I'll see you guys later.